Welcome to Enlisted. This is where I am using my engineer to build an overwatch bunker. And a resupply point. Oh, of course. Why won't it let me... And now we're trying to... Got him. Now I've got to build an anti-tank gun.
Got him. I shot down an IO-2 with an anti-tank gun. <laughs> Fucking love it. Yeah, that guy's a bit fishy. Yeah, he's somehow still managing to hit me through the building and according to Gaijin there is no hacks for this game so I literally just had to take a picture I legit have to take a picture well a video because it's utter rubbish there is definitely fucking hacks for this game I also remember when you used to be able to blow up um, the buildings. And it's amazing how how high explosives don't do anything.
Live on Twitch. Oh, sorry. Hello, Twitch. I'll call you back later. All right, darling. Bye. Bye. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Point blank with high explosive and it does nothing. Nothing I could do. Like I said, point blank. So clearly, there's a it, there is an issue with high ex, high ex, high explosive not doing anything at all. Now you're going to see another issue, which is bombers not actually getting a bombing a bombing radical. The fact that I just dropped a 500... Okay. And the fact that your AI do not follow your commands at all, see? They just don't follow your commands.
See, I just told them to go wide. Then they're not responding. I told them to go aggressive. They're not responding. None of them respond. This, this, this is the primary issue with the game. Also, your tank, your, your defensive gunners in your two-seater bomber don't do anything. They just sit there playing a banjo like it's, like they're recording a, a, a scene from Deliverance. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. They don't do anything. Your bow machine gunner in your tank does nothing. He just stands there and basically scratches his balls and sniffs his finger. They literally do nothing. And I mean this. They literally do nothing. So I do not... I don't see the point. I don't understand why you have to have them in your tank or your plane. Other than just to... Be a resource grind. Um, because that's pretty much what it feels like. It, 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 it feels like a resource grind. Um, the fact that the AI choose to do nothing when you issue them commands is above annoying. Sorry about that. That would be a YouTube video premiering. Sorry about that. Um, it's it, it's absolutely insane. Right, so let's see. My engineers have got an upgrade. Um, do I want to go radio operator or anti-tank gunner? I'll go radio operator. These guys have got a spot. Anti-tank gunner, radio operator, machine gunner, machine gunner, machine gunner. Um, let's actually go with some upgrades now. My tanks can't get any more upgrades. They're 8 of 8, 9 of 10. And literally 20 of 24, the last four you can't have because they're not available in this version of the game. So my tankers are maxed out. Now, here's the pisser. Here's the absolute fucking thumb in the eye. If you go to the tankers, let, let's... There we go. And we click on the tank. The tank has no bonuses. Now... These tanks, bonuses, chassis modification, engine modification, gun and turret modification. This tank, modifications, the actual decent Panzer in the, in the thing, nothing. No mods whatsoever, and a 50mm gun that fires a high explosive shot that does nothing pretty much to infantry is an absolute fucking joke. Yet, the Soviet's T-28 HE Blast can take out an entire squad. Even if they're separated, like... Uh, 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 if one's in Ireland, one's in Wales, one's in Scotland, and one's in fucking England, a HE Blast can, boom, kill all of them at the same time. Yet, German HE Blasts do fuck all. A little bit biased there, maybe, Gaijin? Just saying. See, even these other Panzers have stats. So why is it that my maxed out tank, okay, has none? Which, by the way, I actually bought this tank. I paid for this tank. I spent money for this tank. And it has no bonuses.
same as this thing's a joke. Don't don't even bother trying to upgrade this thing. Just just don't. Bite the bullet and get either the BF109, um, F1. I mean, honestly, F1. Go with the F3. Um, and of course, they don't have the actual uh, Yonka 87 G G2 with the 37 millimeter cannons because that would be too easy to pick off tanks that way, wouldn't it? Like I said, have a bow machine gunner, but he does nothing. So that's a wasted loadout of machine gun ammo. It does nothing. Why does it do nothing? Because Gaijin can't seem to activate the AI properly, I guess. So your soldiers act like dumb fucks. Your tank crew act even worse. And don't even get me started on your pilots. If this is the direction that Gaijin want to take the game... I won't play this game. I won't put any money in this game. I won't even promote this game. I would ra I would sooner rather go back to Heroes and Generals. And I could not stand that game now. Since it's changed hands more times than... A prison bitch. For a pack of smokes. But... Seriously. Gaijin, you seriously need to revamp the tank crew. If I've got a bow machine gunner, and it, this is the thing, there's a crewman crewing that machine gun. Why can't I go all behavior aggressive and my gunner fires, loads, etc. Machine gunner does his thing, he fires machine guns and does his thing while I'm playing, while I'm the TC and able to actually issue the commands and drive the tank like an actual TC. But no. And that's another thing. Why is it the planes engines aren't on, but the tanks is? Which is annoying. It is annoying. It's absolutely annoying. And... Like I said, I've got wasted experience points here that I can't spend. They're max level... They're level 41, and I'm and I'm not even above level 10 in the Battle of Moscow. So if I go to the campaign, okay, ooh, the Panzer 3E. Okay, so I've got dual machine guns this time around, okay, but I've still got paper-thin armor, so it's no fucking point. Um, what else? Oh, ooh, at level 14, I get the mortar team, okay. If the... High explosive is indicative uh, of, and that's another thing, random fucking just dropouts, even in mid-game. And it's not my PC. That just, yeah. Um, so yeah, it, 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 if, if the blast radius of the mortar teams... Uh, anything close to the blast radius uh, of the HE from the tanks, I, 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 no. Just, just no. And this is another thing that you have to keep going in and confirming these bonuses when they should just be automatically applied. But for some reason they're not, so go figure. Um... Is another thing, troop reinforcements, all the troops are silver, not a single one of them is bronze. So the bronze troop orders are useless. You've added something into the game that's useless. Yes, I get it, you're supposed to spend them to level up the soldier. But, again, why not give us the ability to buy a basic soldier? Because, look, make these ones bronze, okay... Make the number two silver and the number threes gold. Doesn't that make a lot more fucking sense? Gee. Upgrade path is just stupid. Um, it, it, it really is. It's just absolutely silly. The upgrade path. Um, makes me want to poke my eyes out. Like... The first thing everyone does is they go to squad upgrades because the more options you have on the field, the better off you are. Then they go for the personal upgrades, which is apparently supposed to level up the squad faster, but 
that doesn't work. I've I've even done in the maths, the mathematics on this, and the numbers don't add up. This is broken. Uh, the workshop upgrades is broken as well. They they don't give you any. It says it's a forty percent discount. Case in point here. We'll go here. Um, let's go to upgrades. Um, no, it's logistics. No. Soldier. Thank you. Weaponry. Thank you. Um, and say I wanted to upgrade this. But I can't. But let's just say I wanted to. It would say, here you go. Case in point, I've got an upgrade. Okay. To use four of that, it would give me 20% uh, vertical recoil. Less recoil and less um, horizontal recoil. Not that recoil is a factor because it's a single shot. Even though it's not, it's supposed to be a semi-automatic. This was a semi-automatic anti-tank rifle. Okay. The PCB was not a bolt-action anti-tank rifle. Okay. And here... So this is the Panzer Bajuch 39, but we got the 38. So let's go to the Panzer Bajuch PCB 38. Okay. Shot breech loaded weapon with a caught re recoiling barrel manufactured in pressed steel parts. Ah, yes, I'm thinking of the 39, not the 38. I stand corrected. I'm thinking of the 39. The 39 was a semi-automatic. It was pretty much a, 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 a Barrett 50 cal before a 50 cal was a 50 cal. See? 10 rounds... A minute practical rate but you didn't have to, it wasn't a single shot feed mechanism i don't know where they keep getting this it was a five round box mag bock 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 next mag and i had to hand crank the bolt back if it if the last shot didn't push the bolt back um sons of guns actually did a an episode on it so i don't know where they're getting their their information from But anyway, um, like I said, it's just it's a pain in the ass. But is what it is. This is another thing. Um, if my guys had their SMGs, why did I spawn in only using my pistols? What happened to my SMGs? Like I said, my my paratroopers have my, my uh, um, paratroopers. My um, fighter pilots have MP38s. Yet, when I landed, all I had was my Walther PPK, uh, PPKs. Which, I, I have to admit, I did kill people like a boss with them. But point is, that that's it, it makes no sense. Yeah, see, and why is it I have two of the same perk? Only one is 5%, one is 20%. Shouldn't one automatically override the other. And it's saying to me for me to change the more powerful perk. That makes no sense. It it, it just makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. Anyway, that's pretty much um, enlisted in a nutshell, which is it needs a lot of work. Um, and Gaijin Entertainment need to start listening to their player base. I would really like to see the AI pay attention to commands, like when I tell them to spread out, that they don't literally all clown car together in one spot. 
when I tell them to go aggressive, that doesn't mean lay down. It means shoot at the fucking enemy. Even when I paint the target. Like in previous ver ver versions of the game, they actually would shoot. Now they just stand there staring at them like... Oh. Russian. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. Say hi. Yeah, go, go, you, you walk over there and say hi, say how well you do. Now, see that lump on the side of your head? Yeah. What did you do? He hit me. Why? Because he's not nice. No, no, exactly. It, it, that's my whole point. It's like... <sighs> this This is a good idea, but a lot of it is poorly implemented. And the thing is, Gaijin have the ability to, to fine-tune the AI. They do it all the time in their War Thunder game. Case in point, your AI gunners on your bombers, on your B-17s or, or whatever, that have tail gunners and, and, and belly gunners and whatnot. They actually fucking shoot at planes trying to shoot you out the sky. Yet, same game company, same flight model, I think they've forgotten to add something. So, pretty much, this guy right here is a complete and total twat that is useless. At least until somehow, in some way... Gaijin get off their ass and realize, oh, I guess we better activate the AI. Because you can't do it while you're in your plane. All you can do in your plane is tell your, ask your teammates to please paint the enemy, which they never do. And that's another thing. If you want people to actually taint, do teamwork, give the recon, and I, I cannot stress this enough, okay? I cannot physically stress this enough. Give the recon an EXP bonus to spotting targets. <gasps> Wait, you mean actually reward recon units for being recon? Yes. Yes, I am. Instead of just modified infantry with a scope. What truly separates recon now from regular infantry apart from the fact that we get a scope with our car 98s nothing and i l l literally legit mean that nothing because i can i can go to my infantry regiment okay let, let me just swap them out here real quick okay this is my infantry regiment go to weaponry Okay, they get the exact same bolt actions. They even get a nice array of submachine guns. So even more firepower for them. What they don't get access to is heavy machine guns. And a sniper variant of... A Sturmgewehr. That's the only thing they don't get access to, is the Sturmgewehr. Only the Recon get access to the Sturmgewehr. Which is not actually true. Um, Recon never got the Sturmgewehr. Um, just saying. And they would occasionally get, an, get a heavy machine gun squad. Or a designated marksman for the squad to give Overwatch. So, one of these things just doesn't belong here. Just, just saying. So, in essence, all recon R right now is just juiced up, snipey snipe variants of of infantry. That's it. They they even get the ability to take a pistol. Okay, or even a second weapon, if you go to upgrades, and you, you max out, and, and you'll go, okay, we'll go to secondary weapons sl slot. Okay? And if you do that, and, and you go to the secondary weapon slot, okay, 
I could, in theory, at level 31, whack on a Sturmgewehr as my secondary and take that scope off. So now I've got an assault rifle and a sniper rifle. So now I'm doubly juiced. It, it's like, what are you thinking, Gaijin? And yes, I, ha I, I have a year's worth of premium I paid for. Not that I can use it because you still want to rake me over the coals for another five five quid to, to have another unit added to my uh, to my regiment. Which makes no sense. Which it doesn't. It, it just makes no sense. I mean, if I was to use my premium unit, which is these, these guys, put them in, they don't get experience, which robs the rest of my team of getting experience. It just, it, it makes, it makes literally no sense. So, let, let's go to my, let's go to my axis, shall I? These guys haven't learned... I, 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 again, I don't play Soviets. I don't do Soviet. I don't... See, see, Chinese Soviet? Okay. Mongolian, I guess? Um. Hurrah! I just... I just don't do Soviet. Thank you. I do Axis. That's what I do. And that's my whole point. The game just genuinely feels sluggish. Um, AI aside, some of the map designs look like they were designed by a five-year-old throwing a dartboard, throw, throwing a dart, a dartboard, and said, "That's their spawn. That's the objective. That's this." And I mean, the dart is the size of a pound coin, and the map is the size of a penny. Because how would how, how does the, how how would the defenders get a chance to build defenses? Okay, there should be static AA guns. There should be static anti-tank guns. And I mean that. That would make good defenses against you know. Again, it's like the map design's a fucking afterthought. It's like this entire game is an afterthought to Gaijin. And I would love to say some good things about this game. But right now, I have nothing good to say. And yes, I'm sticking with it. Yes, I will be going live on Twitch after this video is finished editing and rendering and whatnot. So, look forward to seeing me there. Twitch.com slash... Deceptive Cobras. So then guys, keep your shells fine, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.